Several times throughout this video series, we've talked about the importance of not making adjustments to your AS3X channels, basically your control uh, functions, like your ailerons, elevator, and rudder, or anything regarding that, you know, reversing, travel adjust, and so on. That's all handled in the application. When, you, when it is appropriate to make adjustments from your transmitter is any channel that's non-AS3X. Now with a model like the Yak, there's really no um, non-AS3X adjustments to make. This is an electric airplane, and because it's an electric airplane, you know, the, the throttle is in the normal mode, and the travel adjust is 100% in both directions. So for a model like this, you're not going to make any adjustments. Say, for example, this was a nitro airplane, you would actually adjust your throttle utilizing the travel adjust, the um, reversing, the sub trim, and all the settings that are in your transmitter. Or say, for example, this were a scale airplane, and I had, uh, say, uh, a nose wheel steering, and I had some, uh, some lights, and some wheel brakes, and maybe a retractable landing gear, and so on. All of those things we call non-AS3X channels, and those are the um, channels that are actually appropriate to adjust from the transmitter. So, very important. Anytime it's an AS3X control surface that's related to roll, pitch, and yaw, or ailerons, elevator, and rudder, you adjust those from the app. The ancillary channels, or the non-AS3X channels, like the throttle, like um, gear, um, like anything that you would use for scale accessories, like uh, drag brakes, a drone chute, lights, and so on, it is appropriate to use the transmitter and the functions in the transmitter to adjust those.